Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this one, I want to give you, in my opinion, the reason why 99% of people who try dropshipping um, fail and fail miserably, probably don't even make a single sale. And in my opinion, that number one thing is trust. If your customer does not trust your business, you will not get the sale. They will leave your site and they will try and buy your product elsewhere. Back when I first started in 2016, it used to be a whole of a lot easier because there was less people advertising on Facebook, meaning you could reach people for less cost. And because it was less competitive, it meant that there was less people selling those same products as you. So back then I was able to sell products for 10 pounds and be able to make it work because you could achieve purchases pretty consistently for like three or four pounds. If I could achieve those same Facebook results that I was achieving six years ago now, I would be a multi, multi, multi millionaire because ad costs are so much more expensive. Now, I don't want to put you off. I don't want you to think in, we'll sod that then. I'm not trying drop shipping because it doesn't work. That couldn't be further from the truth. You just have to adapt. You have to change what you're doing. And basically the first thing you have to do is sell more expensive products. But anyway, without going off on too much of a tangent, the reason why trust is so important is because people on Facebook now are familiar with drop shipping stores. They know what a scam Shopify store looks like because most stores use the same template. And because drop shipping is such an easy business to get started, started with. I'm not saying it's easy to make money with, it's just easy to get started with. You can have a business up and running in less than a couple of days without spending much more than sort of 50 pounds. And unfortunately, this does attract the worst type of people who will pump and dump stores. They'll try and sell a product as much as possible, probably only fulfill half their orders to then disappear off the map. So consumers have become a lot more savvy. They have their defenses up and unless you can break down those defenses and get them to trust your brand new business that is advertising and interrupted their day on social media, then you're not going to win their trust and you're not going to win the purchase. So in this video, I'm going to show you three or four, maybe five things, my favorite things that you can do very quickly and very cheaply to earn your audience's trust. And trust me, if you do these two things, it will change your business overnight. So when it comes to trust, then number one, your customers want the trust that they will actually receive the product. You need to be able to prove to them that they will get their product. And number two, to win the purchase, your customer has to trust that the product will be good quality. So how do they do this? We can do this with the following things. The first thing you can do is social proof. And the most important thing within social proof, social proof includes loads and loads of different things. However, the two most important things, in my opinion, are comments. So this is comments on your posts, comments on your ads, and also engagements. And to illustrate why this is so powerful, let's take a look at this ad from a company called Doggy Kings. So it goes without saying, it's pretty clear, this is a proven winning product. This company has been advertising it since October, 2022. We're now in February, 2023. So what, four months, 2.6 thousand reactions, 3,000 comments and 400 shares. And just look at the comments from people posting pictures of their dog in their product. So best dog coat I have ever bought. I have two of these for my doggies, great quality. Just received our pooch's coat, good quality and fits lovely. Got mine yesterday. This is the perfect jacket. My wee Maltese loves his. Ours came today. I've just received two coats for my boys and I must say they are brilliant. There is no doubt in anybody's mind, this is a legitimate company that's fulfilling their orders. So you might be thinking this is a proven product. People are buying it. I'm going to try and sell the same product, build a business around it for then it to own fall flat on its face. And the reason being is because these guys have social proof. So they have these engagements and they have these comments. So how do we get them? Number one, what we need is the link to our Facebook ad. So to do this, when you're editing your ad, go to the share button and then click on Facebook desktop feed. That will take you to the ad on your desktop feed. In the top right corner, click the three dots and then click copy link. That is the link that you should be sending out to all of your friends and family that have tried the product and get them to leave a review and a picture on your ad. That way when you're running the ad and all those hundreds and thousands of people that see the ad will see those reviews of people who have tried and tested the product. So that takes care of those comments and as more and more people buy your product and receive it, keep sending that link to them. Email it to them the week after they receive their product or the day they receive their product and say, 
say, hey, for 20% off, do you mind leaving a photo review on this post for us? So that takes care of comments. How do we get up to a thousand engagements? Unless you're famous or no 1000 loyal friends that are gonna do it for you, then unfortunately you're gonna to have to pay for it. So come into your ads manager, go to create new campaign, and this is the one you want. You wanna create an engagement campaign. When setting this up though, it's important that you don't try and be too specific, go worldwide, and basically Facebook is gonna go out there and find the people who are most likely to hit that like button on your ad for the cheapest cost. And from my experience, you're looking between sort of 20 to 30 pounds per 1000 likes. So you can build them up very quickly and very cheaply. The second thing you can do is have a track your order page. There is two main benefits to this. Number one is it will significantly reduce the amount of customer service queries that you get. Being a drop shipper, your order's taking a week to arrive. The number one question, the number one query from your customers will be, where is my order? Having a track your order page allows people to take care and answer their own questions without having to spend the time writing an email to them. The way it helps us build trust though is if we have a track your order page that looks something like this it shows to our customers that we are legit and we are fulfilling our orders because if we weren't why would we have a track your order page where somebody can come and actually track their order it's one of those little things it won't make a night and day difference to your business but it'll definitely have a positive impact to create a track your order page like this it's very simple to do my recommended app would be 17 track it's free up to 200 orders per month after that it's only ten dollars a month and in my opinion worth every single penny. The third thing you can do is have delivery estimates on your Shopify product pages. So for example, if we have a look at this example, this is what I'm talking about. So just under the price of the product, the person, the customer can see exactly when they're gonna receive it if they place the order today. The reason why this helps build trust is because it shows the customer when they expect to receive it. And again, if we wasn't a legitimate company, we weren't shipping out our orders, then why would we have this information on our website? It's just one of those little things which is gonna help a customer feel more comfortable with when they're gonna receive that order. What it will also do is it will reduce the amount of customer service queries because they'll know to wait five days or one week or two weeks whatever your delivery time is and it will also stop the bad feedback coming back to you through Facebook which will harm and negatively impact your results to create a timer like we just saw my recommended app would be delivery timer order timeline definitely get this on your store because what it will also do is that if you've got a crappy supplier and your products gonna take three weeks then you'll probably be too embarrassed to put that on your product pages. And if you are, then you're misleading your customers. You need to find a better supplier so you can proudly put on your product pages arrives in such and such a day or such and such a days. And lastly, the fourth thing you can do is piggyback off of big name brands. If you have big name logos on your website that people are already familiar with, you can piggyback off the reputation that they have. And my recommendation for the UK would be Klarna. It's free to use. It's an application which takes one to two weeks on average. But then once you get approved, you can have it on your website. So everybody sees it. You can have it right on that product page where somebody is going to spot it. Another benefit to this as well is if you're selling those expensive products or as we go into or come into this recession and less and less people have money to spend on products especially if they're sort of like over a hundred pounds giving people the option to split it over three months interest free makes it a lot more affordable and the reason i recommend Klarna then is because they're one of the biggest here in the uk um, if we check out some of the other shops that are using them so deliveroo deliveroo is obviously massive so when people go into deliveroo and see Klarna on there and then come onto your website and see Klarna on yours it gives them that sense of kind of familiarity and again just that little bit of trust calvin klein obviously a massive global company uses Klarna. obviously gymshack too now a global company uses Klarna. so as we can see it's a household trusted name so by having this on your website it's going to help build that trust and piggyback off that trust that Klarna has and so with that being said the guys they are the four things that you can do to your business which will improve it overnight make sure you take action on these things and then more importantly come back and let me know of the impact that they've had on your business thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one